That was Takers. Yeah. And a little bit of that Fast was and takers. Furious. Yeah. No. I feel like every time you get Fast and Furious in, it's a good day, you know? Yep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danielle. And I'm Del. And this is the Black Catch-Up, where we're catching up on iconic black media we've missed out on in our more conservative religious childhood. <laughs> So today we watched Takers. Yes. Another heist movie. I guess we couldn't go a week without a heist movie, it seems. Yeah, a bit of a theme here. <laughs> <laughs> so as always, IMDb. IMDb. Um, a group of bank robbers find their multi-million dollar plan interrupted by a hard-boiled detective. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that is what happened. It's pretty typical yeah, for a heist movie. Sort of. you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, um, all right, as usual, starting off with things we liked, um, I guess I'll kick this one off. Um, mm -hmm. I really liked the very first heist they did in the, in the beginning of the movie. Um, oh, the, the where they, like, bank one? Yeah, yeah, especially the part where they, like, robbed the, the, heli the like, news helicopter. Um, I thought that was just, like, really slick. I will say, like, I don't, I, I feel like it was kind of wrong of them to, um, bank on that for, as part of their plan, like, a, yeah. a news helicopter landing there, but, um. I, I just thought that scene was really cool. Um, then, like, yeah, there were hijacking a couple the helicopter scenes. making their escape. There were a couple scenes like that where they banked on something as part of their plan that shouldn't have been part of the plan. Where it's like, yeah, you can't yeah. like leave that bit up to chance. Like, no. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I do agree that was a good heist part, too. Um, speaking of heist, I also like their, um, not the first one, but the initial one, the big one that they had five days to complete. I like mm -hmm. that one, even though it failed. It's always fun watching a heist go when they're like, okay, and now we need to get in this position. This is da da da. Mm -hmm. I always like that. And I think it worked well, even though it failed because of a timing issue. But yeah. Um, yeah, I thought that, that heist was fun too. Um, I, I also liked like almost how convoluted the plan was. Um, yeah. I guess the next thing I had down was I did like the ghost character, uh, T.I.'s character, who like came out of prison and just pretty much wanted his money back, but also wanted to, like, screw over everyone. Yeah. You know, like, he was, like, trying to screw over, like, the Russians and his, like, old crew at the same time. So, um, yeah. again, his plan was also, like, super convoluted, but um, I, I did like his character and kind of like the, that, like, edgy hat of, like, hey, I'm not on any of your sides. This is all business. Like, I'm just trying yeah. to get my money in more kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I also liked the standoff at the airport. That was a pretty good scene where we're kind mm. of getting everyone's, um, their, not their arcs, but their like motivations are all coming out at the very end. And it's like, wait a minute, we need to, when they, when um, Idris Elba's character figures out that Ghost was the one who's setting them all up and mm -hmm. all that stuff kind of like culminating in that one little standoff. My goodness. But yeah, I thought the standoff worked pretty well, too. Even with uh, Paul Walker as the ex machina. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, um, yeah, I don't think I really had too many, too much else. Um, I did like Idris Elba as, like, a character, and, um... I always like and as, as well. Yeah, yeah, I thought they all, like, looked good on screen. I don't think they had, like, crazy on-screen chemistry, but they were kind of fun to watch no. on screen. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, um, but there, there was something still kind of entertaining and maybe i think it might have just been because i like knew the actors like watching idris elba michael ely like chris brown they were kind of fun to watch on screen yeah. again like i don't think they had great on-screen chemistry like the no, two being no. brothers barely kind of like you barely noticed it but um i didn't notice they were brothers until they were about to die it was like yeah. brother and i was like brother Did yeah I? <laughs> I won't i won't pretend that i was paying the most attention but i was when they said brother i was like that did not read at all. No, it really <laughs> didn't. Time. Really didn't, you know? And then it, like, read in the most, like, pointless ways. Like, it was, like, toward the end of the movie, and he's like, brother, you don't have to go down with this for me. I'm like, y'all have been in this heist together the past, like, whole movie, you know? Like, now's <laughs> not the time is to be good big brother and tell him to get out, you know? know. <laughs> um, but, yeah, that's all That's all I had for positives. Uh, you have anything yeah. else? That was pretty much it for me. I guess I will say the only other thing I liked was how they set up the time frame for all of this pretty well and the stakes. Mm -hmm. They did a good job because a lot of times when you have heist movies kind of like, I'm going to say Fast and Furious because Idris Elba and Paul Walker were both in Fast and Furious movies. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. you don't know how long they're doing something and you're like, 
what? But at least this time they were like, we have five days to complete this heist. And I'm like, okay, we're all doing this in a span of five days. And that felt like right and tight. And I understood the time frame. And I always like when I can understand the time frame for these like big action movies. Yeah, in addition to the time frame, I thought for the main heist, we also got a good like spatial awareness. You know, we weren't like all yeah. over the place. It was clear like, okay, we want these two trucks to follow this hole so we can jack them. You know, like- yeah. I thought I thought that was like very clear and um played out oh, again played out pretty fun you know yeah but um I guess are we ready for negatives now yeah um yeah I guess you want to kick it off I'll start my biggest gripe with this movie is that every single action scene was an assault on my senses like they were <laughs> so jumpy like I recognize it with the first action sequence with that one guy who ends up sacrificing himself in the hotel fight. I don't think I ever got his name, uh, but he he was fighting someone in this like small like office building or something, mm. and it was so shaky, and we kept switching rep switching perspectives so much. I thought I was gonna throw up. It was so <laughs> bad. I hated it. The camera operator needs to. The camera operator owes me compensation. Like not fun <laughs> at all. Not fun. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in addition to that, I think these they were also like super drawn out, which I don't think helped. Like the the yeah. first scene where like Chris Brown's eating Chase, that scene kind of went on forever, Even and that was one of those where you really couldn't tell what was going on. Like camera was jumpy, shaky. He was running like it was didn't jumpy have any on spatial both awareness. Of them. Yeah, I didn't know where anybody was, and then we like mm -hmm. were with Chris Brown for a bit, and then we like with were with the cops. And it just kept moving too much, and then yeah, both yeah. of them were moving. T oh, no, 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 no. And no, then I once you got it. in the kitchen and everything looked kind of the same, you couldn't tell where anyone I didn't was. Know where we were. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's it. And also, I thought the um, the final shootout kind of scene in the hotel room, um, <gasps> that one also suffered from the same things of being like super jumpy, super drawn so out, bad. like a no, lot of just the, missed shots, couldn't tell what was but, going on. But the other problem with that hotel scene was. Whoever was in charge of the camera randomly decided to like be artsy fartsy at points where it was randomly in slow <laughs> yeah. motion with the sound off yeah. and then they turn it back up weirdly and then the music yeah. was too loud. I don't know who did that hotel scene, see, but they were and That's why it felt so drawn out too. Cause it was like, oh, you see the initial like slow motion silence. Okay, that's gonna be the scene. But then they started adding audio to it. It's like, okay, now we're talking during the scene. <laughs> then it went back to like normal speed shooting. And it's like, okay, this is the same scene. But we've seen like three different versions of this same scene so far. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that scene, there was a lot going on in that scene. They Definitely did, a lot going on. They couldn't decide how they wanted to shoot it. So they were like, let's do all the way. Yeah. That was incorrect. <laughs> that was wrong. No, definitely wrong choice there. Wrong choice there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, yeah, I don't know if it's my turn. Um, I'll, I'll yes, go. Yes. I had unnecessary side characters in this one. Um, specifically, the <laughs> the um, the girlfriend of Michael Ely and Ti, yeah, or not Ti, but Ti Lily, and yeah. and then I had um, Idris Elba's sister. I thought okay, she I added thought like, that was his very mom. little I to the plot. I couldn't figure out their relationship. Oh uh, no, I th I think it was his sister. Uh, I will say I'm not hundred percent right. sure, but. Know. Yeah, I had it down to his sister. <laughs> like, I'm assuming it's his sister, but um, she. Yeah. Either way, she could have been out of the movie, and it wouldn't have made a difference. Um, I said Idris's mom or whoever that is. That's they're in a different movie. Like, I don't know what yeah, movie they're yeah. in. <laughs> that was like a whole different thing. I weirdly found some of their stuff compelling, just because of her mm -hmm. stint in rehab and all that stuff. And apparently, that's a thing she does constantly. And she stole his money, and I was like, huh, this is interesting. But then I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm in a heist movie. What are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Like, why are you yeah, here? Yeah, yeah. It was just, like, so out of place. Even that scene where, like, Idris Elba's, like, in the middle of being chased down, but, like, he's chasing his sister to try to find yeah. her. I'm like, that's not, like, what am I even watching right now, you know? <laughs> like, I don't, not like I don't care, but, like, y'all just had a, did a heist, you know? Like, there's bigger problems. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. But, yeah, she could have been out of the movie. For Lily, I said they they shouldn't have had her, only because Ghost said a thing where he was like, yeah, and you guys... And you, and you tried to marry my girl. And I was like, there's no indication that any of you care for her even a little bit. So either yeah, yeah. flesh her out so that you can make that relationship work or just get rid of her altogether. And get rid, getting rid of her altogether would be the easier thing because she had like maybe two scenes and you could have yeah. cut that real quick and, we w and it would not have made a difference. Yeah, because even, like, by the time she died, like, I didn't care about her, <laughs> you know? Like, yeah. she could have been anyone who died, you know? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, they could have gotten rid of her. 
Um, the last thing I said was there were too many people on the team, and it was kind mm -hmm. of hard to keep track of people, um, especially the detectives. I couldn't tell those two apart for some reason. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I couldn't tell the two yeah, detectives yeah, apart. Yeah. They looked way too similar for no, me. No, there was a scene where I thought there was like... It, like it was, a, it was something that I couldn't tell them apart. I thought there was like a third detective team going after them at some point because when um, they were chasing the Chris Brown's character through the yeah. kitchen, I thought they were accidentally shooting at another team that was also going after them. Oh. So I agree that there was a lot of characters because no, I don't think there was another team. But in the beginning of the, that scene, it when they were the running Russians, around, was it? It might have been honestly. Like the, again, there was just a lot of there was a lot of characters because that was kind of my last point too, just like convoluted plot kind of thing. Like, <laughs> Just a lot of characters involved, um, a lot of convoluted plans that the characters had, a lot of like coincidences that happened, you know, so um, yeah, I, I definitely understand that. Yeah. Also, I don't think the characters that we had were in their um, heist archetypes. I'm thinking of like an Ocean's Eleven type movie where you have the tech genius, you have the one who's always eating, you have the leader, you have the second in command. We didn't really have that here. With every yeah. character, we had, I think, Ghost was sort of the leader, but also so was Idris Elba, and um, Paul Walker, maybe he was second in command, and then everyone else was kind of like a jumble of faces who were kind of doing their own type of thing. So yeah, I, I would say I, Chris I, Brown's kind of the aloof, cool, cool character in the heist yeah. movie, you know, but again, like, they weren't like a cohesive team, really. Yeah, know? it's what you said about them having no chemistry together. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very little coverage. They were just on the screen together. And I think that's time. what's fun about a heist movie. If you have, like, a big group doing a heist, you want them mm -hmm. to have chemistry with each other so that they can play off each other, have their little quips. And even if they have um, infighting, it's interesting if mm -hmm. they have chemistry. I'm thinking of Set It Off, which we watched last week. They all had yeah, chemistry yeah. together that even when they were fighting, you were still like, ooh, you can... It felt like a real grounded fight, whereas if these guys are fighting, mm -hmm. it's kind of like you just have strangers... Who all came together and wanted to do a heist and were fighting because they're strangers yeah and like honestly no scenes of all of them on screen together really stood out to me which i, I think isn't great you know i feel like i should <laughs> be able to remember like hey they were all on screen together for this scene that scene and the, and the third scene but I, like i almost feel like in those like in between heist scenes where they would have all been on screen together we had Idris Elba out trying to find his sister, like <laughs> yeah. Michael Ely dealing with his lover kind of thing. T.I. off making like side side bets with Russians. So like, yeah, you never, like I, I just didn't feel like I ever got them all on the screen together doing like yeah. heist type things, you know? Yeah. But um, I guess, is it rating time? Yes, rating. All right, um, I guess I'll go first. Um, yeah, go ahead. I give it a two and a half. Um, yeah, it wasn't a great movie, but it was fun for what it was. Um, again, like, they didn't have great on-screen chemistry, but there were, like, some good moments. Um, it was, like, a... I, I did like both the heists themselves. Um, yeah, again, I did like, too. Disregarding kind of, like, the shoddy camera work and stuff, like, the, the heists themselves were very fun. Um, the movie didn't overstay its welcome too long. Um, it was just overall, like, just a, like an, a very okay kind of middle-of-the-road movie. Um yeah, so it'll get two and a half from me. Okay. I give it a two out of five. A lot of the same reasons as you. This was, to me, this was kind of a Fast and Furious style heist action type mm -hmm. movie. The only problem was that it made the cardinal sin of a fun action movie, which was making the action so hard to watch. Like, you think, we watched all the Fast and Furious movies together, and as unbelievable as they were, in terms of what they're, they were doing with physics mm -hmm. and all that stuff, at least the action was more or less pretty fun and entertaining to watch, and they didn't have so much weird camera work that was so jumpy that you couldn't, that you didn't have a headache. Like, this movie, it was kind of like, the plan was convoluted, and that could be fun, but then it just lost me on the action because it was so <laughs> annoying. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Final question. Do you wish you saw this one sooner? Um, this is a pretty easy no for me. Um, again, the action was just too bad for me to want to see that sooner. Yeah, um, also a pretty easy no for me. Um, yeah, just middle of the road movie. Didn't, like, miss out on anything, really. Um, yeah, yeah, no, no need to see this one sooner. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was Takers. Um, YouTube housekeeping, like, comment, subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. If you have any movie suggestions for us, you can leave them in the comments down below. We do movies on Tuesdays and Fridays. 
All of our socials will be linked in the description box down below. And we'll see you next time to catch up. Bye. <laughs>